Hello! Wait, I know this voice. Hello! Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. This is King Kai, right? That's right. Listen up, Goku's kid. I sense a great evil near you. Be on your guard. Uh, okay, I'll be careful. King Kai was right. I'm sensing some evil energy nearby.
You looking for something? Got it! Thanks a bunch!
on, yo! Uh, okay. Cities like this is really exciting. What just happened? Since I first came? Hi, Master Roshi! Well, if it isn't little Gohan, you're looking fit as a fiddle. Yeah. Hey, where is everybody? Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, they're out looking for someone. Someone? Yes, Launch. She's the young woman that used to live here. No one's heard from her in quite some time now. She left here and went after Tien, but I was starting to worry she might have gotten herself mixed up in the fight against the Saiyans. 
So I asked Krillin and the others to go out looking for her in the area where the fight took place. But, well... Did something happen? Possibly. I just saw a young woman that looks a lot like Launch on a news report from West City. I'm waiting for Krillin and the others to get back so I can tell them to head there next. Oh, well, I can go there if you like. Really? <laughs> That'd be great! You can't miss her. She's got full-bodied curly blue hair. A real beauty. Her outfit leaves little to the imagination. I can still picture her tank top, shorts, her curves. <laughs> Just thinking about her is getting me all riled up. Ahem, what else? Oh, yes, her personality. She's a very calm, sweet person. Calm and sweet. Got it. Okay, I'm off to find her. Jerking me around. P please don't do this. <laughs> hmm, let's see. Blue hair, same outfit that Master Roshi described. That's probably lunch. Looks like she's arguing with some people. You punks are messing with the wrong girl here. I said fork it over, so fork it over. You hear me? Well, it's just... What's going on? Guess I'm just gonna have to pump you rats full of lead, then. Uh-oh! Launch is in trouble! Stop! Huh?
Are you all right? Oh, okay. Who the hell are you? You're pretty tough for a pint-sized punk. You kind of sort of remind me of Goku. Huh? Wait, how do you know my dad? Huh? You're Goku's kid? What? What the hell are you doing here? These bozos stole my map, and I'm trying to get it back. What? D did you really? Um, uh, well... All right, that's it. Keep this dumb act up and bam, you're gonna get it. Uh, I'm sorry, I guess I wasn't thinking. Wait, so you're not launch? What? Jeez, I'm launch. What? But I was told she has blue hair. It's complicated, kid. Now shut the hell up and give me the stupid map. Um, do, do you think you can find it in your heart to forgive me? Screw you! Get out of here before I send you packing myself! Ah! <laughs> Bunch of no-good chumps. Whatever! At least I got my map back! <laughs> sorry for butting in like that! Whatever. I'm over it. As long as I got this map, I could finally figure out where he lives. He? He keeps jumping all over the place for his training. I've been chasing nothing but rumors till now. Uh, oh, I see. Now this time, I'm gonna make sure he falls in love with me. Hold on tight, buddy, I'm coming for you. Oh, there she goes. I guess I better head back and let Master Roshi know what happened. But she ran off somewhere. Hmm? What are you talking about? Launch came back not too long ago. Huh? Wait, but... Oh! Did someone call for me? What? Oh! You must be the boy Master Roshi's been talking about. You're Goku's son, right? It's a pleasure to meet you. My name's Launch. Y you're Launch? But the woman I met before had blonde hair. Oh, uh, that's the other me. People tell me my personality changes whenever I sneeze. And my hair turns blonde, I guess. Oh, your personality changes? Hard to believe, right? I think it might be some sort of condition I have. That might actually be the best way to describe it. Ah, I remember. That's what I forgot to tell you earlier. Sorry about that. <laughs> I really hope the other me didn't cause you too much trouble. She can be a bit harsh sometimes. <laughs> uh, no. I'm just surprised to see you here, since she said something about going to look for someone. Right. 
When I came to, I was near West City and I had no clue what was going on. And so I decided to come here. Uh, I see. Oh, I know. Why don't I cook something nice as a thank you for dealing with the other me? It's the least I could do. I've been wanting to try out a few recipes for a while now. Yes, I think that's a great idea. We can all eat together. Uh, okay. impressive finding launch like that <laughs> oh and make sure to let Bulma know you're doing okay as well she's been worried too Back already? That's so. If you have time before Bulma finishes her spaceship, you might as well get some studying in. Uh, okay. After a fierce showdown with the Saiyans, the Earth was safe once again. But that safety came at a hefty price. The Dragon Balls, the only hope of bringing back those who had lost their lives, were gone. Thanks to what Vegeta said, however, Gohan and the others learned of more Dragon Balls on Kami's homeworld, Planet Namek. After they had found Kami's old spaceship, Gohan and the others made preparations for their long, arduous trip to Namek.
that you? Oh, perfect. You're just the person I wanted to talk to. So listen, it's about the spaceship. The, the spaceship? Uh, are you sure you want to talk to me about that? Yep. If you've got some time, do you think you could meet me here at Capsule Core in West City? Oh, sure. I'll be there soon. What could she want to talk about? I guess I'd better head to Capsule Corporation to find out. Holding out for hope on Planet Namek. Maybe... Maybe the spaceship's ready for takeoff. She wanted to talk to me specifically. I'm not sure I'll be of much help, though. <laughs> Stop! person I was looking for. Huh? What's up, Bulma? We're gearing up to go to Namek, right? I'm working on the spaceship that's gonna get us there. But I'm short on parts. Oh, bummer. With Goku in the hospital practically mummified in bandages. You're the only one left for the job. Oh. No problem, Bulma. Leave it to me. That's the spirit. Here's what I need. Think you can handle that?
Talk about speedy service. Does everything check out? <laughs> sure does. Great job. I'll have this spaceship up and running in no time. Thanks a bunch, Bulma. The spaceship is complete and ready for takeoff. All right, Gohan, just let me know when you're ready to launch. We won't be back on Earth anytime soon, so make sure you've got everything you need. R right! So, you all set for the trip? Okay. I'll just perform a few final checks and make my way over to Kame House. You go ahead and meet up with Krillin and the others. With their preparations for the journey to planet Nemec complete, everyone has gathered at Kame House. <laughs> What's with the hair, Gohan? My mom thought I should look more presentable, you know, when meeting an entire alien race for the first time. Ah, uh, okay. Man, your mom sure is strict. We're counting on you. Don't come back until you've found those Dragon Balls. On it. Bye, Grandpa. Bye, Mom. Write me every day, Gohan! All right, time for takeoff. Watch out, Planet Namek, here we come! Meanwhile, just as Bulma and the others left for Planet Namek, Vegeta, back and fully recovered from his fight on Earth, learned of his commander Frieza's absence. Frieza was on his way to planet Nemec with his most elite subordinates in tow. He was in search of the Dragon Balls that he learned of from Vegeta and the others on Earth. His goal? To wish for immortality. Vegeta hurriedly made his way to Nemec in an effort to catch Frieza and stop him. If Frieza is able to attain immortality, the universe is history! I'm not going to let that happen. Those Dragon Balls are mine!
Meanwhile, 34 days after Bulma and the others left Earth, they finally arrived at their destination, Planet Namek. We did it! We actually made it to Planet Namek! Hmm, this place kind of reminds me of where Piccolo trained me, back on Earth. No use waiting around, let's find those Dragon Balls. Oh, hey, check this out! I'm picking something up. No doubt about it, it's a Dragon Ball! You're right! Woohoo! All right! All right, we, we, found, found, one. One. we found, one. found one! Huh? Krillin, do you feel that strong energy over there? Huh? Man, you're not kidding! It's massive, and it feels crazy strong! And there's something kind of evil about it, too. Uh, what's going on? There's nothing to freak out about. Besides, look at the reading I'm getting over there. The radar's picking up four Dragon Balls all in one spot. Uh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's probably just some Namekians. We got nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I feel like I've seen that ship somewhere before. It's a Saiyan spaceship! I knew it! Go on, lower your power level. They'll know we're here. Yeah. It's Vegeta. Looks like it's just him. I am not letting you get your filthy hands on those Dragon Balls, Frieza! Bulma, let the others know what's going on, and then head back to Earth. We'll stay here and gather the rest of the Dragon Balls. Gohan, sound good to you? I, yeah. Uh, okay, I'll get a hold of Master Roshi and fill him in first. Once I'm back, I'll pick Goku up and bring him here. I should be back in about two months. Uh, right. Two months. Hmm? <laughs> What? Uh, another one? Hold the phone. What's another one of those things doing here? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I want to know. We found it, Lord Frieza. Excellent work. Now only three remain out of my grasp. <laughs> Take care not to lose that Dodoria. It seems Vegeta is looking for the Dragon Balls as well. Yes, sir! Uh, pardon me, Lord Frieza. Kui has just intercepted Vegeta. Has he? My, that was fast. In addition, uh, the two large power sources from earlier have suddenly disappeared as well. I will make my way to their location and investigate. I should be able to identify them shortly. Very well, but I'm more concerned about ridding myself of that traitor Vegeta. What a shame. I didn't think him foolish enough to turn against me, let alone attempt to steal the Dragon Balls for himself. Kui should be on his way to dispose of Vegeta. Should be interesting. Those two have long hated each other. They are roughly equal in power, I believe. So I assume it'll take a fair bit of time. You're not going anywhere, Vegeta. I'm going to enjoy blowing you to pieces. Right. 
Make sure to let Goku and the others know. Thanks. All right, I'm heading back to Earth now. Good luck, you two. I'll be back with Goku as fast as I can. Huh? Krillin! Someone's coming! Huh? Is it the Saiyan? No. It's not Vegeta. It's someone weaker. Probably a Namekian. That should be right around here. Huh? Look. What the hell is that? What? Oh, those aren't Namekians! They don't look like Namekians! Who the hell are they? Their power levels are a joke! They're nothing but trash! I guess it's just some Taurus, huh? Well, anyway, we got orders to annihilate everyone on the planet. It wouldn't be much fun if they got away. So let's take care of that spaceship of theirs. Sounds good to me! No! That starship! <laughs> it sucks to be them! Guess they were in the wrong place at the wrong time! Okay, go on. Feel free to let loose on these guys. They're nothing compared to you. Here goes! Right! Uh, Lord Frieza, it seems like those two power sources from before may warrant more of our attention. They raised their power levels almost instantly, and then vanished after defeating two of our scouts. That is indeed strange. I highly doubt it's Vegeta's doing. Correct, my lord. It can't be Vegeta. The sources each have a power level of about 1,500. 1,500? Is that right? Hardly anything worthy of our concern, wouldn't you say? They do seem rather unruly. If you happen upon these two, eliminate them. Let us leave Vegeta's destruction to Queen. <laughs> you hear that, Vegeta? That was a direct order from Lord Frieza. I finally get to kill you. Don't make me laugh, Queen. Do you actually think you can beat me? <laughs> Are you blind, Vegeta? Take a look at your scouter. You'll see my power level is leagues above yours. <laughs> Well now. <laughs> 